Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? He feels Mr. awake. Wake, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Okay. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was I'm the sure age she of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I don't know. Somehow I'm suspicious that he's going to be another of the shadowy people in the future. Oh, a fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. Okay. Um, let's hope I don't have to make him talk again. <sighs> I'm busy examining your fish. That you seem very proud of. Ooh, can I knock this over? No. Alan will just walk on top of it. Because that's totally normal. <sighs> Anything else in here? I want fun stuff. Give me fun stuff. You're good to go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably waiting for a chance to talk to you. I'm sure she is. Considering how suspicious he was behaving last night. At least I'm assuming it's last night. For all I know, it could be three years in the future. Ooh, I can run again. Wait, read what? Read this. Have you seen this man? Disappeared. Uh, 62007. Identifying features. Knack for winning contests. I'm pretty sure that's not an identifying feature. Is that Carl Stuckey? I have to assume it is. Wait, somebody's missing a raccoon? Or is that a cat? Because it sure looks like a raccoon. What's this? Have you seen these men? Missing. Richard Baugh, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller. On a camping trip overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Thank you in caps. Okay. I bet these were shadow people that I killed too. They all look kind of the same. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's her office, but I... Oh, I can Good go in Mr. there. Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. I don't... I don't want to go in there yet. I'm not done looking around. <laughs> um... Although I imagine this is going to make Alan look even more suspicious. <laughs> the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Yeah, I know. I already peeked in and scared her. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the local newspaper, but she's focused on um well, other things these days. She'd fit right That's in where fascinating. I come from. Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't town, ready to leave. Refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts oh of weird God. things in the paper. Has a colorful history. Of course, Why do these people talk so much about really pointless things? This is the weirdest architectural design I've ever seen. 
Why in the world is there this little alcove? I know, shut up. I'm exploring. Okay. There's a glowy button. Let's see what it's for. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. Oh uh, no. Gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. yeah. Coffee. And a page. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Yes, keep looking for Stucky. I doubt you'll find him. Alright, Alice sees a shadow. Oh no! This sounds fascinating! Alice looked through the viewfinder. Was it her own? Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin. Like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Ah ha ha ha. Maybe it was the creepy lady that gave you the key. Ah ha ha. Did you ever think of that? Move it. I want to make it spin. Damn you, Alan Wake. All right, I think I've about Shut had my phone here. Unless I can go in there, no. The in her Shut up. I don't care. I already peeked in like a weirdo. Your phone, Mr. Once. White? Yeah. Why are you just standing there? Were you standing there the whole time waiting for me to come back? <laughs> you have no other work to do. Make sure you don't forget your phone. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Have you mom. Looking for my wife yet? My men are already on. Can't yell at her. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Yeah, that's Excuse pretty me. accurate. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? <gasps> oh my! You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Oh my. <gasps> How much do you want to bet? It's these guys. Or the shadow forms of those guys or something. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? No. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. <sighs> okay. Quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. That's fascinating. You can get to the back lot through that door hey, and down hey, the corridor. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Oh, God, you sound like my wife. Here. You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't. He's even really be not in a here. good guy. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. But I Why am I listening, drunk. this freak? I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Ooh, Dan. now it's getting interesting. Oh, no, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? i tell you who it really was. Oh, never it mind. It was a goddamn space alien! 
I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. I'm not sure I believe you. Do you have any more conspiracy theories to spout at me? Or are you done? Uh, I, I think he's done. This is a very sorry sight. I think I'm going to leave. Oh, there's a manuscript page in the cell. Are we going to end up in the cell? The dark presence in the diner. Oh, this sounds like promising. Human mask. To describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. What? So I don't want to go to the diner, but I do at the same time? I'm confused. <laughs> 